Ha, you can't jump through the door. But I can do that. <laughs> right. Isn't there? Oh, crap. Radiators. Radiated ones. Okay. Oh, God. Right. It's bad. Right. I don't know what kind of rads we got, but we're running. We are running. Greetings, everybody, and welcome to Let's Play 7 Days to Die Alpha 17 Stable. We are now on episode 28 of our holiday series. So, guys, in the last episode, we did a couple more of the... Uh, again, we're doing some more of the trader quests, and we're pretty much cracking through, trying to get to the higher tiers, because the more we seem to do, the better loot um, these traders seem to have in stock, which is really, really good. So, hopefully, uh, by doing some more of these, we'll be able to complete some of those and move to tier 5, because I think that's where we start to get the really, really good rewards. We also managed to get an SMG in the last episode, and I actually swapped out the um, before you, you guys throw it with the scope but I've actually swapped that out for the uh, magazine extender because I'd rather have um, a few more rounds to do some uh, increased damage to the Zeds so this is where we've got to go for our next quest so this is where we're going to begin let's go ahead and get started here so hopefully today we are not going to die but we are we, we, we shall see uh, that's, that's the thing hopefully we're not going to die but we'll see we're probably probably going to die again but you know if, if it happens it happens I'm not as far away from my home base this time um, so hopefully it's not gonna be too bad. So let's see what we can uh, see what we can do here. So it looks like the first thing we come across is a drop right down there. So I'm gonna land on this thing first, just to see if there's any sleepers in this room before I drop in on them, because that would be okay. Hang on, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump to this bit, then drop here just to see what's going on. There might be some sleepers that come up here as well. So there is some barbed wire that's gonna stop them, but still I don't know. Yeah, see, I already, I already hear one somewhere. Already hear one somewhere. So let's go and jump up here. See what I can see through here. Yeah, see, there's a footballer right there. So maybe we can take out some of them before um, they become too much of an issue. Yeah, see, so yeah, that's going to that's gonna make some of them run through. They know exactly where I am. But if we can stay in a safe spot, then maybe we can um, encourage them to open up somewhere. So I'm not sure where they're even going. But this is like a very, very big house. Um, so we're going to have to be super careful. It looks like the cache is literally right above me as well. So maybe I can at least get the cache. But that would be something else. I'm trying to listen out for where the footballer is as well. Because as soon as I drop down here, that's it. We can't get back up. And it already sounds like we're waking up a couple. But I don't see any other sleepers in the area. It's literally just those ones. Okay. I'm going to risk it. I'm going to risk it. Right, we're going to risk it. We'll risk it, we'll risk it. Right, so we're going to drop down here. But it looks like they can... I'm just listening out for where the actual footballer is. I think he's going to try and get above me and then drop onto me. It's kind of what I'm thinking. Is uh, that, that's, how, that's how I think he's going to work. Um, cause it sounds like he's right above me here. So that's what I'm trying to think. He's, try, he's probably going to try and do that to get to me. Um... Now, if we turn the light off here, we're not going to be able to see. So we're going to have to keep the light on. I do have my SMG if things go, if all hell breaks loose. I've got my SMG, so that should be handy. Let's go and uh, eat one of those. And drink one of these as well for recovery. I'm just going to keep a very careful listener up here. Okay. So let's go through here and see what we get. So there is one sleeper there. So let's turn the light off as we fire it. Because then what we, I think what we should, what we should do is, oh crap, that's probably going to wake him up, isn't it? Uh, yeah, what we should do is turn the light on to explore. Then as we aim and fire, turn the light off. And that should save us a... Yeah, I just see some movement over there. There you go. So there's one there's one right there. See if we can get her down. There you go. Got her. See, that's probably what we should do. Like, turn the light on to explore. And then when we see a sleeper, immediately turn the light off and fire. Because um, that'll, that'll be less of a giveaway to where we are. Okay. Let's go and see if there's any, like, yeah, there's one right there. Okay, you are just a regular. Down he goes. Go, he was, he was keen. Okay. So, yeah, watch out for the builders there. So, yeah, that's, that's, I think that might be a better way to do it. So, kind of, like, go along with the light on. And then as soon as we see a sleeper, turn the light off, fire, and then keep going. Okay, there's probably going to be a load down here as well. Let's go very careful. Yeah, there's one like right there. There you go, he's out. 
may as well use uh, may as well use everything we can to our advantage. Might need to get some points into like the uh, the ninja movements and everything as well, just so we can sneak along a bit better. Uh, right, so currently we are in the light, so this is going to give us away a little bit. Let's go very carefully along here. See, we're going to try and we're going to try and sneak through. Okay, so let's see here. Go around the corner here. Anybody? Right, I think. Yeah, there's a footballer there. So we're going to turn this off. Then we're going to fire. Then we're going to do it again. We're going to knock him over. Then we're going to kill him. It's probably the best way to work, I think. Okay, there's another football here. There we go. And get this out. Get him down. There we go. And here comes another one. Right, here we go. Oop. Knock him down. There we go. All right, we good? We're good. Right, there we go. So he's been taken out. So a couple of dead footballers later, we are all good. Right. Let's keep going. Right, so how many arrows we got? We got 183 arrows, so we're doing we're doing fine for those. Okay. Anyone in this little area? Nobody right in this little area here. So this bit's fine. Is that a sleeper over there? No, it's a pile of junk. Okay. So I kinda wanna kinda strafe this door a bit. Right, there's one right down there, so we'll turn this off. Right, she's right over there. Let's get a headshot lined up. There we go. She's out. Oh, that's made me uh that's made me visible. Visibility hundred. Uh, so that might mean some more going to run in my way. Any sleepers back here? No, okay, we're good here. Alright, let's keep going. So we got those guys dealt with. It's more like when I, I, I kind of die when I'm more so when I get like surrounded by them. Um, that's when I get into trouble. But if I can kind of keep to keep to a linear path, we should be alright going through here. So I don't know if there's any sleepers behind here. Uh, none over there. And... None over there. Okay, yeah. So the, yeah, so the mining helmet automatically gets us up to like 70, um, which is not good. Okay, so let's go ahead and make our way up here. Right, so that's that first bit cleared. Okay, is there any sleeper behind this box? Wouldn't surprise me if there's one just waiting right here. Okay, so this door is currently closed. That's fine, so we can move past here a second. This door is open. Right, turn that off. Shoot you down. Right, kill this footballer here. There we go, and there's a couple of ferals here. Okay, let's run down quickly. Run back, run back, run back, run back, run back. Right, now sneak. Okay, there you go. We can try it. We can try and sneak and then take him out. There you go. So you got to run back through and sneak, and that's the easiest way. That's the easiest way to kind of distract them. There you go. Okay. Okay. Oh, run, 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 run. Right, keep running and then sneak. And then go into sneak mode and come over this way. See if we can get away from these guys. There you go. Right, so that's the best thing we can do is like run, try and run and sneak. And then keep our dis then try and keep our distance a bit. There we go. So we'll run and sneak, keep our distance. That should help me a little bit. Right. Now the fer the ferals are more sensitive, so they'll probably hear me. But as soon as we can get these guys away. This uh, footballer kind of thinks I'm around it somewhere. But as soon as we get him distracted, then we can get him around here. Okay, so he's running over the junk. I don't want to turn on my light right now. I need to wait until I can get a pot shot on this guy. Because the football is the deadly one. Right, okay. Right, he's down. Right. There you go. That one. That one. There you go. Nice. Okay, he's been taken out. Right. And we got a guy right next to me. Oh, this guy right here. Got him. You may bleed, you bugger. Didn't even see that guy come around the corner. Right, there we go. So he's taken out, and then all we got left is the feral, I think. Oh, how's my dude? There we go. He's out, and... Oh, got him. Feral is taken out. There we go. Right, now we're starting to, now we're starting to work our way through. Right, so next thing we're going to get, then, is... Healing factor level four. There we go. So gain one HP every six seconds with natural healing, and we get one max health every thirty. There we go. So now, now we'll heal up even faster, uh, which is awesome. All right. So light can go back on now, and we can start maneuvering our way through. Okay. Yeah. So we gotta gotta watch out for the uh, gotta watch out for the ferals every now and then. That's all right. Let's keep going. All right. So we managed to clear this lower section, which is awesome. Source. 
But yeah, that's kind of what you have to do sometimes, is literally just back away, try and sneak off, and then regroup and attack him again. That's sometimes the better way to do it. But yeah, this POI is very, very big, so we're going to have to go very carefully through here. Right, so this one... Okay, so I'm guessing we've cleared everyone in this area because the workbench here. Uh, is there anyone else around the back that we didn't? No, it looks like this area is clear. Does this workbench work? It does. Nice. Working bench, not too bad. Right, let's go and make our way up here then. And we're going to go through here. So this is the way we have to go, which will lead us to the next uh, part of the house. Okay, so now we're in one of the lower sections. Let's see if there's anyone behind here. Doesn't look like it. Okay, so this room is clear, so we should be good. All right, let's keep going. So is there anyone behind this door right here? No. Okay, let's keep a very careful out for any new sleepers that might be spawning. Okay, no one here. Okay, so this room is clear as well. Right, so this could be a different story, however. Okay, there's a cupboard right there, so let's go and turn it off. And fire a pot shot there. Okay, I didn't mean to fire it right there. Let's go and open this up again. Okay, looks like those cupboards do not open. This one does. That one does as well, but there are no zombies in there. Okay, no zombies in these cupboards. Pretty much bright enough to see, so I'm going to keep going in the dark for a little bit. Okay. So let's see. Right, now we're in the main section of the house. Okay, so that's where, I think that's where we came in there. Yeah, that's that's where we came in. Right there is where we came into the house. Okay, so now I know where we are. That's down in the basement again. Let's see what we have in here. Is there any... There's one guy right there. Right, he's out. Oh, crap. Not the biker again. Okay. There we go. Kill this one quickly. There we go. Got it. Okay, there we go. Heal up. Okay. Oh god, we got some more coming. Okay. We have more. Okay. Oh, we have one this way as well. Down, 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 down. Run, 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 run. Wait, this way. This way, this way. Okay, keep going, keep going, keep going. Use this, use this, use this, use this. Right, and then sneak. Sneak, 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 sneak. Okay. Close this door. Right, there we go. Sneak over. Right, and close this door. There we go. Use the doors to our advantage. We gotta, we gotta wait to heal up. Okay. Right, they're probably gonna break through this other door soon. All right, we're gonna stay down here. Stay down and sneak. Hmm. Right now, I gotta see where they're at. Right, so there's a lot of them here. And my worst mistake will be to get surrounded by them. So some of them are above me. So, we're going to keep to the lower level. Okay, so I don't know if any have dropped down here. So, we're going to try and... It looks like... They... It sounds like they're above me. It sounds like all of them are above me right now, so that's okay. So, as long as there's no drops into this section, we should be alright. Okay, so we let me let me uh, try to heal up a bit first. So, this area looks okay. Just making sure there's nobody down the bottom here. That's going to come to me from behind. Okay, that's where one of the drops are, but we should be fine. Okay, so we should, if we're careful, be able to pick some of these guys off. But yeah, having a natural healing next level is very, very good. So let's go and see what we can do. Now, opening doors, of course, is going to make a little bit of noise, so it might attract some of us, some of them to us. But until such a time... We should be okay to sneak. So there's a few... Yeah, they're literally right above me right here. So as long as I don't hear where I'm at, they won't drop through the ground on me. Okay. Okay, make sure I've not raised any suspicions. Right, so the biker destroyed this door here, I think. So we should see one of them. There's one. There we go. One of them's taken out. Uh-oh. Okay, that doesn't sound like it woke any up. Okay. Okay, here comes another. Okay. See where he's going first. He looks like he's heading down. 
Okay, let's go and get some hits on him. There you go. Okay, he's still confused where I'm at. He does not know where I'm at right now. I know he's dead. There we go. That's the one I wanted to kill. He was the one I was the most concerned about. Yeah, the bikers are the ones I'm most concerned about because they can do a ton of damage very quickly. Okay. So it sounds like there's another one up here that we're going to have to take down. So let's go and make our way up the stairs slowly. Okay, you in here? There you are. She is. Okay, there's a biker right there. There we go. We can. There's a future girl right here. There we go, and she's down. Wait, that's not all of them. There's another one somewhere. There's another one somewhere. I don't know where he is. Okay, where are you? Okay, he knows where I'm at. Oh, I think I know where he's coming in. This way. Yep. I like her. Right, come on then. We got this guy. Too late, Mr. Biker. I've killed all of you guys. Hey, look, there's like a, a mini, like a mini little drain there. That's awesome. Right, okay, let's go. It's like a mini version of the cabinet door. It's like a tiny one. It's like a, it's like a dollhouse version. Okay, so there's nothing in there. That cupboard can't be opened anyway. So now I'm going to go through here. Right, okay, so it looks like we cleared them on this little section here. Let's keep the light on for a sec. Oh, hang on. Is this a potential one where some zest could be? There is potential, but there are none there. Okay, I heard something else smash. I don't know what smashed. Okay. I heard something smash, but I don't know what it was. Right, so this is going to lead to the stairs. There's another little area over here as well. Gonna get super sneaky. Right. Well, we're not we're not dying so badly this time, which is good. Being being sneaky is uh, is very cool. Sneaking is cool. Remember, he who sneaks and runs away lives to sneak another day. Good uh, good thing to abide by when it comes to the apocalypse, I think. Uh, right. So what do we have up here? So we've got to go. Man, this building's huge. I think it's massive. Okay. Right. Here, vultures. Oh, there's a sleeper right there. I see his see his head right there. There we go. Right, sneak away. There we go. And let's take this guy down. Got him. Nice. Okay, so those guys taken out. Anyone in here? Let's have a look. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Let's have a look. Let's go carefully. Very, very quietly. That's a bike right there. Okay. This guy is going to be a bit of a pain to take down, but we're good. We can damage him a little bit, and then we can whack him a couple of times, and down he goes. There you go. Dead biker. Phew. Okay, yeah, these, these bikers are nasty. They're very nasty. If you get a few of these together, you're going to die. A few bikers is yeah pre yeah pretty much a few bikers together is death if they're all running if they're run if they're walking it's okay you can kind of deal with them but if they're running yeah then things get horribly tough okay I wonder if we can see any other sleepers from here don't think I can okay so now I got to go and head outside so I think that's everything in here this cupboard is now empty okay there's vultures here. Get him out of the way. Thank you for your contributions, Mr. Vulture. There's another two over there. One. Two. Got him. Right, there we go. Vulture's taken out. Okay. So now i got to go along here. Right, so there's probably going to be one in here. I think. Yep, there is a dude here. And then there's this dude. Okay. Okay, Oop. that down here. Right, here we go. And uh, Hawaiian battle on the roof, and down he goes! Nice! Okay, we got rid of those guys rather quickly. Okay, let me jump and then do that. Something tells me this is going to be a full place, but actually no, it shouldn't be. The zombies have run over here already. 
Let me close this door just for a second. Make sure nothing else is it. No, I think we're good. Right, so we should be able to move on. Should be good for moving on. Keep on moving on. Right, here we go. So now we're going up. Uh, now we're going higher. Man, this place is so huge. Can't believe how big this place actually is. There's a stairwell that goes up there. Then there's also some doors over here. So one of these ways, there looks like there's something hidden in there. There's a couple of like, loose floor floorboards and stuff. So that's where we were before. That door is locked. It looks like this is uh, meant to be an explored area. So is that going to wake anyone? No? Hmm, okay. Now it makes me think that one of these... That it makes me think that this room over here... There's 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 some rooms behind us that might be trap rooms because they're blocked off, but we haven't been to them from this floor. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open this area out and just to check. So I think yeah, there we go. There's some doors behind here. See. So we're gonna break away through these. And see what's in them. Just to make sure that we're not gonna get surrounded by sleepers. Okay, so there is a shotgun messiah box in here. Very nice. Then there is also another set of stuff over here. So let's go and open this up. Okay. And it looks like this needs a repair. That'd be handy. And let's go and dig this out. Right, so yeah, it looks, looks like this would be a trap. Okay, there were no zombies in here, though, but looks like this would be a typical place for a full trap of some description. Um, yeah, looks like it would have been a trap. Yeah, because there's, like, spikes here, so I guess the floor above, you would fall through. But let's have a look in the shotgun side box. Oh, no, it's a cracker bit box. Okay. Maybe a magazine or something? Uh, nope, nothing good in there. Okay, well, at least we, ha at least we had a look, and we've, we've verified that that is not a trap. Okay, because now, we, now we're looting at night. We've got to be a little bit smarter about how we, um, how we approach this. All right, so what's up here? So are there any sleepers in there? Yeah, see, look, it looks like there's like loose boards right here. But as soon as I step on those, would probably break. It really does look like it. I want to confirm my suspicions, honestly. Yep, totally called it. Oh, didn't call that one. Did not call that one. Right, he's out. Oh, okay. There we go. Get these guys down. And use that. There we go. Whew. Okay. Didn't call that. Did not call that one. Totally called the trap. Did not did not call the uh, things running for me. Oh, there's one right there. Close that door real quick, just in case one... Just in case there's another in there. Anyone here? Nope, that's just a little cupboard. Alright. Now, I don't see any more in here. So we should be good to move around. Oh, okay. That's probably going to be... One in there? No, none in there. Right. Oh, there's one right there, though. Eh? Right, get down. Okay, and there's a few sleepers here. There we go. Get down. Right, I don't know where they came from, but yep, there's some in here. Um, okay, they probably came from the next room, didn't they? Yeah, they probably came from in here. Okay, turn this off. All right, it's nearly morning. We're, we're doing okay. We're, do we're surviving. We're surviving this time. We're doing all right. Okay. Let's keep going. Right, we're going to keep going through here. No one in here? Ah, hang on. Code right there. Should have guessed. Should have guessed. How did you even... How did you even get me on the way down? Okay, let's knock this guy down at least. Right, then this guy's gonna come from... Okay, oh, one guy fell. Yeah, I think he's fallen down. Where'd he even go? Oh, there he is, he's over there. And it's morning! Finally! Right, now I can move along through this area without worrying too much. All right, so we got to done a little bit of sneaking, sneaking this. That's pretty fun. And now it's time to go full beast mode on these guys and go for it. 
Right, so this guy is just a regular spider. We can just power attack him and get rid of him straight away. All right. Now I can, now I can actually make some more swift progress here. All right, here we go. This is the top section, right. Um, what do we have here? There is a dude over there. There is a lady there. Okay, let's go and do... Okay, we wake this one up. Okay. Okay. There's a couple up here. Right, there we go. Let's make them aware of where we are then. There we go. Hello! Right, we'll give him... Had to give him some body shots. Just to weaken him a bit. There we go. There you go. Stop hitting me, you! There you go. Right, so that's that one done. Okay, so that looks all good. Right. Let's see. Anyone else up here? Nope, that looks all good. Okay, there's an army dude right here. I can knock you out. Anyone else in this room? Oh, you're still up. Okay. Oh, and another spider. Ha! You can't jump through the door. But I can do that. <laughs> right. Isn't there? Oh, crap! Radiators! Radiated ones? Okay. Oh god, right. It's bad, right. I don't know what kind of rads we got, but we're running. We are running. Okay. Right, I need to go and take these guys down. Let's go and at least get the spider out of the way, because he's the tough one. Okay. Right, there's the, there's the rad one. Which I don't want to deal with right now. Oh, okay. Okay, maybe we can deal with him. If we get a couple of headshots on him. There you go. Okay, oh, okay. Close this door, close the door. I can't close the door, it's not, it's not closable. Okay, come this way. Oh, he fell down. Nice, okay. So he's, uh, he'll come the other way. There you go, right, where is he? Okay, he's down there in the same, in the same spot. There you go, nice, you got him. Excellent. Right, that was lucky. Hello! There you go, didn't, didn't remember this guy. Got him. So yeah, finding the other radiated zombie at the top of this place, but there we go. Cleared that area. Alright, so we're, get, we're getting close to the top, we're getting close to the top. I'm getting there. Right, are there any more up here? That's the, other, that's the other thing, there are more radiated ones in here. Wouldn't surprise me if there were. No, I think that's it. I think we did it, guys. We've managed to clear out the building. And we, and we lived. Nice. All right, let's go and see what we get. So our prize for clearing this building is some nails. Yes. Just what I always wanted. What have we got in here? We have ourselves ooh, a level four SWAT helmet. I'll take that. We can sell it. And some steel steel leg armor. Okay, that's not bad. What have we got in here? Uh, a quality one AK. I mean, how much does a quality one AK sell for? Um, I don't even know. Hang on. Let me not repair that yet. Because I might take the 3762s if... Yeah, I'll, I'll take the 3762s over that. Definitely take that. Um, and then, of course, some more 762s there. Yeah, I'd rather take those. Rather take those than the um, than the other one. Okay, so scrap those. The claw hammer and a few things. Is that it for... Well, for, for a building that big, is that all there is? Wow. Bit stingy on the loot, but... All right. Oh, hello. There is a uh, schematic right there. All right, so now... We've gone ahead and cleared the zombies. The next thing we've got to do is find where this cache is. Plus, I'm going to go ahead and um, dig out all these pallets as well. Because um, I want to use those for later. So we will dig these. Plus, we might find some hidden stuff like this behind with some rounds in. Look at that. There we go. So we're going to start digging out all the pallets here. See what else we can find. Um, and we need to find where this cache is. So it's saying currently the cache is below me. So hopefully we'll find it soon. Let's go and grab these. And look, we're getting a ton of XP for this as well. You get, like, for digging all this stuff out, you get tons and tons of experience. So that's always good. Let's go and grab that one. Right, are there any more? Any more blue boxes here? There we go. There's a couple here. So we'll get some cobblestone and some concrete mix from this. Uh, that's everything in this section here. So then we've got this lot. Loads of cobblestone in here. Loads and loads of it. So you should have no problem building our day 21 base from all this. There we go. Grab that. Got some iron as well. This one. And this one right here. There we go. 104 cobblestone from there. Oh wait, there's a little bit on the top of that. Let's grab that. And then that one. Look at that. So 24 concrete mix from there. Very good. Yeah, this house has a lot of uh, a lot of pallets and stuff in that we can dig. Okay, so we need to find where this hidden cache is. It looks like it could be in here. Nope, that's not it. 
So no Moranzo, but that's not the cache. Um, so yeah, you want to like look at all the hidden areas as well, just to see if we can find it. So let's go around very carefully. It's saying, okay, it's saying it's not a lower level, so this isn't where it is. Um, okay, that's just a picture with nothing in. There is nothing under there. Okay, I'll take this up though for the leather. And we'll go and search all the stuff in here to see if there's anything good. Um, I don't think there's anything in this section. No, nothing in here. Uh, anything behind here? Nope, nothing in there either. So yeah, there's more pallets and stuff down there that we're going to dig out soon. Nothing under there. Okay, very well. What do we have in here? There is a thing in the wall there with a bag behind it. And in the bag we have a quality 2 iron reinforced club, which I do not want. What have we got in the bookshelf? We have a fortifying grit schematic, so that's something we can sell to the trader. Uh, there's one of my arrows. It's going <laughs> to take that back. Uh, anything in here? There is a bag in here. What's in said bag? Some canned food, which I will go ahead and just eat straight away. There we go. And let's see. I think that's everything in here. But yeah, this is, a, this is a very big house, this one. This one was awesome. So, bathroom. Not too worried about searching the toilets or anything. There is a bag right here with a wooden club in it. Did I just grab that or did I not? Yeah, I did. Okay. Grab the wooden club. Um, anything under here? Nah, I don't think so. No, it looks like there's nothing under that, so that's all good. Right, so... Yeah, still seeing the cache is below us, so it's not this way. However, there is a little room here. Nothing in said little room, so that's all good. Right, so down we go. And let's have a look down here and see what we can find. So there is some more of the pallets. So we opened this area up already. But let's go ahead and just dig this out. And let's open this up. With a hidden case behind it. That one had nothing in there. Alright, so now we got this as well. Let's open up this door. And open up this door here. There we go. That's all opened out. Anything in the medicine cabinet? Blood bag, not too worried about those. Um, right. So let's see. So it's saying that the it's saying that the hidden cache is around here somewhere. Hmm. Let's see, is there any like pictures or anything that would have it? So it's saying it's on this level. It says it's on this level and it's around here. So that means it's in here. Hmm, let's see. Is it up here? No, nope, it's not here. There's some junk there, though. Hang on. Get in the middle. There you go, got it. Junk, which had nothing in. Okay, it's not in this little section. Okay. So it's saying it's around here, but not sure where it is. Not over there. But we did see, I did. I swear we did see at some point there was like a loose floor. But, ah, is this it? There you go, got it. One hidden cache is now ours. There we go. So that is all done. Let's go ahead and make sure that we've got everything else from around here. And then we're going to dig all the pallets on the bottom floor as well. Any... Okay, hang on. Can I d jump to there? Is there anything up here? There is the bag up there. Oh, grab it. And we have a hunting knife. Yeah, good for scrap. It's only a tier one, so we may as well just get rid of it. That's all looted already. There's some pallets that are not going to contain anything I'm looking for. Here's a load more pallets in here. Let's go and grab these. There we go. Grab that one. Grab that one. I think this has uh, two here. Here we go. Grab them. And there's also a hidden little section right there. Can I have a look in there? Can I reach through? There you go. There's a bag in here, which has a tier three machete. I'll keep that. We can probably sell that. Because we're getting some very good money from the traders now. Did we level up again? We did not. Okay, so yeah, level leveling up is going much much slower at the moment now because we are we're already quite a high level. So we need to find so now um, the only real way to level up is finding ferals and radiated zeds. Um, the other ones just don't really level us up anymore, which is fair. Um, you know we're getting late, we're getting later game now. So there's a purse right there. What do we have in there? Absolutely nothing. Hey, oh, ammo in the sink? Nah, just scanned in the sink this time. See, I was starting to expect ammo in the sink. That's the, that's the funny thing. I was like, hmm, these, these things usually have ammo in them. Okay, what have we got in here? We have cans in the bag. Come on. We probably need to invest in Lucky Looter soon again as well. There's a case right there, which has more nothing. And another one in here, which has a rifle and some 762s. I will happily take those. Thank you very much. All right, anything in here? Nope, anything in this one. 
More nope. Okay, so nothing in those picture frames. There is one arrow right there, and this bag we never searched, which has a jumper. Take those, or a sweat, uh, sweater, I should say. We we call them jumpers over here. Uh, right. Anything down here? Get that chair. Oh yeah, there's a loose floorboard right here. There's a case under there. More ammo, maybe? Nah, nothing. Nothing in there. Okay. Not too worried about these little things. Uh, that's already looted. There's another pallet right there. And there's a bag behind that as well. Very good. What is it with what is it with only having cans? I need to make more bandages as well, actually. Thinking about it, because we are a little bit short on those. So maybe I need to get some cloth. Do I actually have any cloth? Oh, this is a tier three shotgun. I spent the my one. Take that. There we go. Uh, okay, recipes. Uh, bandages. Three bandages. Let's get some more. Nice. Okay, so we've actually found a um, a better a better shotgun finally. So we now have a tier three shotgun. That means we can sell our old tier two one. I thought I was doing a tier two then. I was like, yeah, tier two shotgun. Nothing, you know, nothing much. Just uh, just something simple. And I know it was a tier three one. That was awesome. So that's a good find. So tier three shotgun in the bag right there. Okay. So now we're going to come down here. There's some more cobblestone and concrete pallets down here. So let's go and grab all those. So yeah, now we've cleared it out. We can just go ahead and loot the rest of it. See if there's anything. I don't know if there's anything like underneath here. That's just where something has fallen through. So nothing to loot there. There we go. And now we're going to come through here. What if there's anything inside this thing? Doesn't look like it. Can't search that drawer? Nope. And... Oh wait, is that just junk inside it? Yeah, just junk in there. Just like junk and burning piles and stuff. Not really too much in here. Uh, there's another couple here. I see some junk behind this too. What do we have in here? We have oil! Nice, take that and some casino coins. Very good. Look at that. Plenty of concrete mix out of this place as well. So many pallets down here. This is really good. So we're going to get everything we need to build our base just from this one building, I think. <laughs> just from this one building, we're going to get all the construction supplies we need. That's great. Okay, let's grab that. And we level up! Nice. So let's see what I want to put this into now. Uh, leveling up. I think we're going to put one into... Hmm, what do, we, what do we do here? So survival facts. I think I need to put something more into heavy armor. Um... Because that'll, that'll help a lot. Or Pain Tolerance. Oh yeah, Pain Tolerance first. Let's do that one. HP lost by 20%. There we go. And then we uh, eventually it will get to the point where we never get stunned, which is going to be really good. Okay. How's that one floating? You defy physics! What are you doing? Oh, I guess it, it might be that block up above it supporting it there. <laughs> that was defying physics. Just like, yeah, I'm just going to float here. It's like, wow, okay. Very well. Just, just float there then. Be, be like that. There we go. Man, this is a massive POI though. This this one was positively humongousoid. And I think that's everything. That's back to the start. Everything else through here is done. Uh, there's a washing machine there. Let's have a quick look in there. Cloth means bandages. Bandages means uh, not bleeding. Not bleeding means staying alive. So yep, those 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 kind of all go hand in hand. Um, and I think that is everything. In this little place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a quick cut. We'll jump back to when I get to the trader. And then we'll see what rewards we get for finding his little shipment of stuff. So let's go ahead and... Uh, how the hell do I get out of here? I know what we can do. Let's go and chop through this. And then we can get out of here. Alright. So let me go ahead and do a quick cut. I'm going to go ahead and uh, head out of this building. And go back to the trader. And then once we're back at the trader. I will see what reward we get for completing that quest. So hopefully... It's going to be something pretty good. I mean, I mean, it better be. We uh, we worked hard on that. How much cobblestone did we get? Look at that. 572 cobblestone and 184 concrete mix from this building as well. So absolutely perfect. We can scrap those as well. Uh, so yeah, not not a bad loot haul from this one little building here. Uh, well, I say little building, but it was actually uh, positively a friggin' huge building. But still, yeah, not a bad haul overall. So very, very, very happy with that. There we go. Right, so I'll be back in just a bit. Alrighty guys, I'm not back yet. I kind of lied because um, we actually uh, were very close to our treasure. So I thought instead of me going straight back to the trader, first of all, I was going to go and do the treasure hunt to see what we got here. So we're going to go ahead and do the usual, you know, digging out uh, north, south, east, west lines and see if we can come across this thing. So let's go ahead and make our way along here and hopefully we'll find it very, very soon. Um, so let's go ahead and make our way along here. Probably dig this like two blocks deep in a second to see if we get to it. 
So yeah, we should, it should be around it somewhere. So I'm going to go ahead and start digging this out. And let's see if we can, is that it there? No, it's not. Okay. Let's see if we can find it. Oh, wait. No, there it is, right there. Okay, we found it really quick. Damn. Okay. In the treasure, what do we have here? We have, oh, a uh, rod and spring replacement. Look at that. Loads of magnum rounds, loads of shotgun shells, and loads of silver golden diamonds. Look how much we got from that. Okay, so treasure in the wasteland, guys, definitely worth it. But I wanted to go ahead and dig that out before we got back to the traders. As he's expected to be spending quite a bit of time trying to dig that one, but yeah, didn't uh, didn't actually take that long, which is uh, which is awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead and head back to the trader. Uh, we're gonna sell some stuff and let's see what reward we are gonna get. So I'm looking forward to uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what we actually come up with because that's gonna be absolutely amazing if we can get some nice rewards. So let's go ahead and head back. For reals this time. Um, but yeah, I was like in the area, so I thought we'd get it. But yeah, for reals this time, we're going to head back, and then we'll see what we get. So I'll be with you guys in just a bit. Alrighty, guys, we are now back to the trader. So let's go ahead and see what reward we're going to get for this quest. And then I can sell him all this good stuff as well. So let's go ahead and just uh, stop off here. And let's say hello to Mr. Trader. And we're going to see what he's got for us. So hopefully uh, something pretty decent. Uh, did my Reinforced Club repair? Yeah, it did. There we go. So we can go and see what he's got. So hopefully something good. Hello, Mr. Trader. How you doing? Hmm. And here is your payment. So he's got an AK. Oh, a tier 4 AK, which is pretty good. Another steel pickaxe or a tier 4 AK. Uh, let's just have a 3 is not that great. Yeah, I think we're going to take the steel. We're going to take, we're definitely going to take these. Because I think, really, is that going to give us like, I don't know if that gives us just one of them, but it looks like we're only going to get one of those. So let's go and take the AK. Thank you very much. And let's go ahead and uh, see your inventory. And we're going to sell them a few things here. So let's sell them all the silver here. That's going to be, well, 4k for all that silver. Nice. So good little find there. 2k for the gold there. And we're going to get uh, another 3k for the diamonds. So there we go. Ton of XP all around just from selling him uh, that stuff. We're going to also send the schematics as well. Um, and this uh, steel leg armor, I think we can. Yeah, steel leg armor, you can have the, the helmet you can have there as well. The AK, you can have that as well. Excellent. Uh, we can sell pretty much just all this stuff to him. He can have all that. This tier 3 machete. You can have that as well. Why not? Um, I'll give you that. Uh, one scrap polymer. You can have that. What have we got here? A rod and spring replacement is actually really good. I want to keep that for my SMG. Uh, you can have the leather, though. And you're more than welcome to that. All right. Now, the real question is, is he now stocking steel? I really hope he is. Um, looks like this one is not. He's still not stocking steel, guys. Like, this is this is getting beyond crazy. I really need the steel. The trade never stocks steel. I don't know why he doesn't stock steel. He's so evil. No, honestly, this trade, this trade is evil. He, he never stocks any steel for me. Um, let's have a look in here, though. What have we got in here? There's a wheel. Actually, I'll tell you what. I'm going to buy a wheel because I've got another wheel left, but I just want to get this one as well, um, just so we have another. And what else do we have? Speakers, Marksman Rifle Level 3, which I've already got, so I don't need to get another one of those. Number rounds, 762 more rounds. Uh, are you selling any decent mods? Another Crippler mod. But really, I'm not too worried about that. Um, okay, so you've got a, a nine mil round. Okay, so there's more nine mil rounds. I'll, gra I'll grab those to the SMG may as well. You know, we'll take the nine mils and the 762s. Um, he's not really selling that much stuff, to be honest. I wish I kind of wish he was selling more, but he really is not. Um, so it looks like his um, his resupply didn't really get that much new stuff in. But as you can see, we managed to go ahead and get ourselves um, some good stuff from him. And let's see what jobs he has now. Is there any close by ones? Uh, tier 4 fetch and clear, 681 meters away. We'll go ahead and do that one next. I could really use some help, friend. Okay. We need to retrieve our supplies at Courthouse Medium 01. We know where they stash them. Go clear out the zombies and retrieve the supplies. Beautiful All right. Man. Sounds good. All right, guys. Well, I think we're at a pretty good point for now to go ahead and end off the episode. So I'm going to go ahead and end this one right here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. So until then, bye!